Ci siamo. Il mio primo Here we are. It's my first time at the Salon Nautique International de Paris. To be honest, I don't know what to expect. There will be a lot of inflatables, perhaps some newcomers, but I would also like to find some unusual boats. Come on, let's get started. Badge, microphone and let's go. C'è una verità da dire, che quando si pensa ad una barca veloce, divertente, said, fatta bene, fast, è inevitabile fun, well che si pensi ad una barca americana e Benetton. American Sette anni fa Seven ha fatto go, un colpo davvero da maestro, decision. ovvero quello di acquisire all'interno del suo grande the gruppo questo brand americano, Wildcraft. 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 Their boats are developed in Michigan. They are solid, fast and above all offer a wide range of possibilities from the smallest to the largest of boats. Perfect for fishing, but also suitable for a day at the sea with family or friends. But if that's not enough for you, Wellcraft will launch a new concept vessel in the spring. Are you curious? So are we. Many shipyards aim to expand, but sometimes tend to take for granted smaller sized boats. Bayliner, on the other hand, doesn't. This is the Element M17. It's won a lot of awards in the last few years. It is the true entry level for those who want to start navigating the sea. It's really nice to walk around the Salon Nautique International de Paris to see boats that I know. This one, I tested it. I tried this one as well. Do you remember it? As for this one, no. I did not test it because it's the novelty of 2022. It will be completed and presented soon. This will be the entry level of the Phantom line and if I take in comparison how well the other boats developed from this company Navigate, well, I have a very good feeling about this one too. A proposito di entry level. Speaking of entry level, there is great news from Joker Boat, a novelty of 5.8 meters with huge volumes, especially the stern sun deck. Maybe this new Coaster 580 has that extra plus factor. I told you that we were going to look for the most interesting and unusual boats of the Salon Nautique International de Paris. This is why I'm showing you a very peculiar boat. Wait, doesn't this look like a boat? Hold on a minute. Ecco, così è meglio. Questo è il Platypus Craft. Here, that's better. This is the Platypus Craft. It's an aluminium trimaran and can reach to 20 to 25 knots. Yet this is not the main feature of this boat. The peculiar aspect is that it can easily be transformed into a small submarine. In particular, the central part submerges underwater, so we can go and discover all the seabeds by looking at them in person. Everything is ready for the dive. So, three, two, one, down we go. This is another very interesting concept. Why am I using the term concept and not boat? Because this boat, the Armin 500, embodies an absolutely up-to-date topic, namely eco-sustainability. Questa è una vera e propria imbarcazione di 5 metri, ma la cosa This is a real 5 meter boat, but the most interesting thing is the material with which it's built. If we were to think of an eco-sustainable material, we could consider many, but never plastic, in particular high-density polyethylene. It's a totally recyclable material. When this boat has finished its lifeline, it can be 100% recycled. Honestly, I'm not surprised to find something new in this stand. Why? Because Brig is a giant in the construction of inflatable boats. Just think that it produces more than 2,000 units per year. Here in Paris, it is launching its new product, the Navigator 26, the largest of the Navigator line. It's an inflatable boat suitable for navigating on any type of sea with a very deep keel. It's fast and fun. Plus, this line is definitely captivating. At the Salon Nautique International de Paris, I'm finding lots of inflatables and I really like some of them, like this one. This is manufactured by RS Sailing, which we all know for their sailing dagger boards. 
but in addition to being totally customizable, it's also fully electric, with the inboard engine and batteries arranged along the entire keel, from stern to bow. It runs for an hour and a half at 25 knots and for four hours at 15 knots. Green boating is gaining momentum. Si sa che il gommone è il miglior mezzo per cominciare a navigare. E cosa deve avere un buon entry level? We know that an inflatable boat is the best way to start navigating. What must a good entry level boat have? It has to be easy, safe, fun and affordable. Highfield Boats incorporates all these features into one boat, the coaster. First of all, the solidity is undoubted because the whole structure and the keel are made of aluminium, which allows you to reach the beaches or enter areas of the sea with shallow waters, without worries. Then the economic part of the important element of this boat, because regardless of the type of engine you want, various packages are available, which include everything, meaning the engine, the fully equipped deck and even the trailer trolley for transport. Transport. This is a Polish shipyard that has been working in the nautical world for many years as a subcontractor. Then in 2008, it began to develop boats under its own name, especially boats for fishing, then culminating to this day with this new boat, the Escape 780, the new born of the shipyard that can be admired by the public for the first time right here in Paris. It's a sport cruiser that follows the lines of its bigger sister, and since it's new, I can't wait to test it out on the water. Targa is a Finnish shipyard and this unit, called the Targa 27.2, in its fishing version, is definitely a different boat from what we're used to seeing. That's not all though, because in addition to the teak that covers the entire boat, there is also the floor below deck. Ma questo stile classico, morbido, non ci deve traviare perché questa imbarcazione ha delle prestazioni. This classic and soft style should not mislead us because this boat has exceptional performance. It can navigate in any type of sea. The shipyard claims that if you're aboard the Targa 27.2 and you find yourself in a storm, you will be scared, but not the boat. Questa non potevo non farvela vedere, perché è una barca certo, ma non solo. Il Tringa è qualcosa di più. I couldn't show you this because, sure, it's a boat, but it's also more than that. The Tringa boat stands out thanks to various small details, such as, for example, the seat belts, the mirrors, a control panel similar to that of a car, and then, have you ever seen an accelerator on a boat? E infatti questa barca macchina è omologata anche per andare su strada. In fact, this car boat is also approved to drive on the road, where it can reach up to 20 km per hour. You can easily move from your garden to the first port of call towards the open sea. With an outboard engine, it can reach up to 40 knots. Whether you go by road or sea, it doesn't matter, because with this boat you can really go anywhere. The day is over. I have to say that I'm very happy. Paris is stunning and we saw so many cool and interesting boats. Which one was your favorite? Qual è stata la vostra preferita?